Could somebody please tell me the location of Blackmoor? How did you get in? Being the head of unit gets you into places. Location of your boss, please. James, I believe, is in the doctor's lab. I'm fairly busy, so I'm sure someone else can show you the way. Thank you, Professor. Aha. Gentlemen, lady, could I have a word with Blackmoor, please? Tony, isn't it? What are you doing here? Hello, I don't think we've met. Claire, Claire Fields. And this is the, uh, the Doctor. Doctor? Oh, hello, sorry, I was busy. Well, concentrated. Well, anyway, hello, how are you? Tony, this is the Doctor, our main scientific researcher. And Doctor, this is Tony. We once met at an ambassador's dinner. I believe he works for UNIT. Head of UNIT, actually. That may be the case, but it doesn't explain what you're doing here. That is a conversation I'd rather have in private, Blackmore. Certainly, but torture policy is first name only. What about your doctor here? Well, he's stubborn. Come to my office. What was all that about? I don't know, but we could find out. I have word to believe you did not follow procedure on your last counter-invasion. And when does government have the power to waltz into Torchwood and demand procedure? Since the President of the UK feels Torchwood is not capable to run as a solely independent organisation. That's complete rubbish. The Torchwood has run under the Crown since the 19th century with no issue. Well then, can you explain what happened to your Dark Horde captive? That was... a complicated matter. It's not even within your own guidelines to shoot your prisoner, James. And now your whole organisation has to be put onto watch to make sure nothing like this happens again. Understood, but not obliged. Also, something else you probably thought had passed us by with your recent operative in America. Do you really think we would have not seen through your cover-up? Mark was shot dead in the line of duty. And when were you going to tell us this? At last! My time travel has worked! Look at all this stuff! This could get a fetchy price back on the Roxbourne Peninsula. I wonder what value this stuff has. I didn't feel it necessary to tell you yet, Doctor. How did he die? He was murdered at his hotel just before his rendezvous flight back home. Oh, Doctor, no! It, it's, all, it's all right, Claire. Don't you have some work to be getting on with, Doctor? Come on, let's go. Claire, are you all right? Oh, it's, it's just all a bit of a shock. I forget sometimes that this could all lead to... I, I understand. Would you like to go home? What about James? Go home, I can sort it. You really don't understand how our pay system works, do you, Doctor? Go! Just need to grab my phone from the lab first. <laughs> now this is a rare thing to behold. A genuinely Mumbonian hydropondophere. Where'd you find it again? Oh, it's been in Torchwood storage for years. They never knew what it was. I thought maybe you might know. I imagine they were hoping it's some sort of weapon. That's the military for you. Oh, and what is it then? It is, well, basically a water pistol. A really great water pistol. I've had a water fight with one of these. Got everyone soaked within 500 meter radius instantly. Loads of fun. Doctor, a word if you would. How would you say this base is being run? By James. Yes, how do you think his leadership is? Well... I would like to know what happened recently with the Dark Horde. Specifics. He was taken away to be put in a secure cell, I was told. No, that is one of James's many facades. He murdered him. Don't trust him, Doctor. Recently taken up an interest in the sloppy, tortured job that's been going on. Right, okay, so, Government Watch. Actually, could you tell me how long has Claire worked here? She's worked here since you signed up, according to the files I read. Interesting, because in my memory I came here with Rose. Trust me, Doctor, that didn't happen officially. There was no mention of any Rose on the government file working for Torchwood. But I did read something about a Rose with Unit at one point. I'll look into it for you. Thank you. Ah, Professor, where were we? Hello, everyone. Who are you, and how did you get into our system? Easy from the inside. Where are you? 
near enough, he's in my lab, could the owner of this blue box talk? That would be me. Would I be able to ask you for the key? And why would I give you that? Or your colleague will die. Claire, Doctor, is that you? That's enough of a chat. I promise you'll be safe if you give me the TARDIS key. What do you want it for? Actually, don't answer that. I'm going to come see you. Bill, to the doctor's lab immediately. Bill, let me go in there. Doctor, this is a hostage situation. I can't let you go in. But it's Claire. And we will take the situation with as much care as we can. Oh yeah, because over there it looks like you have guns. That doesn't seem like taking care to me. You are not trained for these situations, Doctor. We can handle it. Stay outside. He said he wants the owner of the TARDIS. I think he's going to kill anyone that goes in there that doesn't have it. We're ready, sir. Right, I want you to go in, ask for his demands, but only follow my commands. The priority is to protect Claire. And Doctor, stay here. Now, hello. Could you tell me what your demands are, please? I've already told you. I want the TARDIS. Do you have the key? No, but I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Now I need to remind you we have trained operatives holding you at gunpoint, so don't try any smart moves. What? Like this? No! Do you see those people could have lived if you just let me go in there? Just let me go in there now! Oh dear, seems I must have drained the battery. What else around here could I use? Ooh, this'll work nicely. Move closer and I'll take the key from your cold cops. Right, so you need to tell me what you want with my TARDIS. A profit, a payout, a lovely retirement plan. Sorry, what? I want to take it and make money from it. I'm a trader from the Roxbomb Peninsula. Oh, okay, but that doesn't make much sense because the Trade Center isn't established until the 24th century. Vortex Manipulator, handy time travel, came at a decent price but didn't know I couldn't sell it for more than it was worth. Oh, 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 hold on a minute, so this is brilliant. You're telling me you've come back in time to steal stuff that may be there in the future to sell to people in the future for a decent amount of credits. Now my time old instinct says I shouldn't let you do that, especially not to my TARDIS. Move anymore and I will shoot you. Go on then, shoot me. Doctor, no! <sighs> in the future, if you want a weapon in a hostage situation, take a trip to the armory first, because none of the stuff in here works. It's my job to fix it. And in case of that, pretend to and never give it to Torchwood. It's just embarrassing for me and to you. Would you like something from the fridge? You have made a fool of me, Doctor, and you will pay deeply. No, 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 no! Should have listened when he said the words Vortex Manipulator. Oh, but it's the only one on this planet, so that means we can track it. Looks like the John Numic liquidation has gone through, Father. What a nice payout. Yes, quite. Might buy my own Zeppelin. Oh, hello. Who are you? Hello. What do you want? Professor, you're needed. Would you be able to check for all recent teleports out of this base? Quickly. Of course, Doctor. Right. And? Hold on. I don't believe it. They're in a Zeppelin. Right. Okay. How do I get in there? I don't know, seems like a pretty hard thing to do considering they're flying over London. That's what I thought. <laughs> Sorry, I can't quite hear you. If you're gonna ask where we are, I'm already going to tell you. <laughs> hi, hi, up above London, where I have an advantage over the, 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 the doctor. <laughs> Speak up, dear. Come on, put some effort into it. I wanna know that no one can hear you scream! <laughs> Okay, I'll help you. You have no advantage over the Doctor. You won't win. Oh, really? All it takes is one little push. No guns, no weapons to hold me back. Just a simple fall and you're dead. But not yet. I need the TARDIS key first. But I promise, sincerely, from the bottom of my cold, cold heart, when the time is right, you will fall, and you will die. Are you really sure this is the best way to get there, Doctor? Well, sort of. Isn't there a quicker way, or a safer way? Possibly, but this is way more fun. He's completely mad. Not completely, Professor. Are you still tracking the Zeppelin? Yes, it's going to fly in front in five, four, three, two, one. He's not going to. That 
would be the Doctor. I wonder how he chose to join us. I'm sure it would have been a spectacle. Well, I would say so, but that's just me. Doctor! Would you like a relaxing drink? We have a nice selection of scotch or rum, I believe. I'm okay, thanks. You're right. Good. Shame. I think I might have had one. But first, I think you have something I need. I have no idea what you're talking about. The key to the most valuable thing I have ever seen. The last TARDIS. Oh, you mean this? I think I'm going to say no. <sighs> Give me the key or she'll fall to her death. I said no. So be it. Now see your friend. Doctor, no. Die. <gasps> what do you have to say for yourself now, Doctor? That was quite a waste of a perfectly good chair. It's unlikely I'm going to be able to save that as well. What are you talking about? She just fell from the flying zeppelin! How can you save her now? Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, which means time travel, and time travel like this. Well, that's true. Which means to just go back a few minutes and save her. Give me a bit of a headache, but worth it. But how did you get that? A little help and a sleight of hand. You're right. Good. No! There is no hope of saving your friends now. You can't even save yourself. Goodbye, Doctor. It has been fun. Hello. Feeling better? Oh, what did you bring? Oh, just great. So, how are you feeling? You fell for quite a bit before I saved you. That and the other headache from the vortex manipulator. Yeah, that wasn't nice, but I've had worse hangovers. I'm sure you have. So Claire, you've got to start being more careful. First getting knocked out, and now this? Neither of those were my fault. Yes, but I'm starting to wonder whether or not they're mine. James! Thank you for dropping in. Not at all. Nice to know that everyone is uh, safe and sound. What of the trader, Horus? I have it on Tony's authority that he has been locked away up safely in an offshore unit prison. Revenge! 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 <laughs> Hello, fellow trader. We're going to need your assistance with something. Will you free me? Not immediately. You will have to wait. Till the time when the Doctor asks to see you again, and together we will have your revenge. Revenge, revenge, revenge. Revenge, 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 revenge. Professor, you're leaving late. I, I didn't see you there. I thought you'd gone home, James. I was hoping to catch you off hours about something. Oh really? What is it? Let's have a chat in my office. The body is just washed up on the shore of the Thames today. Reports say that the man has died from being infused with some unknown metal. Interesting. But we have come cautious lately of their independence. Body means we've already lost. Bodies means we failed to save another person's life. That's our job, Claire, and today we failed. <laughs>